Hi, welcome to this quick video where I'll review how to work with Lightbeats plugin for VMware. My name is Roy Adiel and I'm a solution engineer here in Lightbeats Labs. In this demo, we'll work through adding Lightbeats cluster to a VMware environment, create a new data store using the wizard, create snapshots and clones, and work through a manual way of creating volumes for data store usage. Lastly, we'll see how to migrate VMs into Lightbeats data store. Let's begin by adding a new Lightbeats cluster into the VMware environment. We'll go into the Lightbeats plugin, and there are no Lightbeats cluster available at the moment. Let's click Add and give the cluster a name. Now let's add the token, which is the JOT from the Lightbeats cluster. We'll hit Next. We'll add the IP address of one of the Lightbeats cluster nodes, and hit the VMark. It will go and find all the available nodes in the Lightbeats cluster. We'll hit Next, review the summary, and then hit OK. We've successfully added the Lightbeats cluster. Now, let's add a data store into the VMware environment. We'll go back to our inventory, and we choose the cluster that we want to add a new data store to. Right-click, and Lightbeats New Data Store. We'll give the data store a name. Choose the Lightbeats cluster. Choose the size of the data store and amount of replications and whether we want to have compression enabled on the Lightbeats cluster volume. Hit Next, review the summary, and hit Submit. It will go and create the volume on the Lightbeats cluster, attach the volume to the ES6 hosts that are on that ES6 cluster, create the data store, and lastly, we'll rescan all the VMFS volumes on those hosts. And then we have a working data store. Now, let's go and create a snapshot out of this data store. We'll go into the Lightbeats plugin again. We'll see that we have a volume here that we previously created. And if we'll go into the cluster itself, we'll be able to go to snapshots or the volume, choose the right volume, and create a snapshot. We'll give it a name. Let's call it LBDS1 snap1 and hit OK. And now there's a snapshot available. If we'll go to our snapshots, we'll see that it's creating. And if we'll refresh, we'll see that it will be available for us for usage. Now we can go and create a clone out of this snapshot. We'll click the right snapshot that we're going to clone, choose action, and create clone. We'll give the clone a name. And we can change the size if we want. Choose if we want to have compression. Hit Next, review the summary, and OK again. Now we've successfully created a clone out of this snapshot. We can see that we have it as another volume available to us. And it's not attached to any host at the moment. Now let's review a manual way of adding and attaching volumes into our VMware environment. We can go to Volumes and do Create a Volume. Let's call it LBDS2. We'll give it the size that we want. Choose the amount of replications, enable compression, and hit Next. Review and OK. We successfully created the volume on the Lightbeats cluster. Now that we have that volume available, we need to attach it to the relevant ES6i hosts. So let's attach it to the relevant hosts. And now that we've attached it, we can go and create a new data store out of it. So let's go back to the inventory, click on one of the ES6i hosts, right click, storage, new data store, VMFS, we'll choose, let's call it LBDS2. We have that volume from Lightbeats available to us. Hit Next. Next. Choose if we want to take the entire volume. Hit Next. Review the summary. And we're good. So now we've created another data store that is coming from the Lightbeats cluster, which is available for us to use. Now let's work on migrating a local data store into Lightbeats. 
Let's take, for example, this VM. Go to Migrate. We'll just change the storage. So we have either data store available to us from the local storage that is on that ES6. Let's choose this one. Hit Next, Review, and Complete. Now the job will run, and after a few seconds, we'll have that available to us for usage on that VMware environment that is running on Lightbase. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial. For more information, please visit www.lightbeatslabs.com. Please refer to the administration guide on our website for more information.